fine before, but just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are almost in the. Yeah. So yeah, look at me. Camera's on here. Right. Blah blah blah. Right. Uh, what's your name, and where do you come from? My name is Eric Kampoff, and I come from Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, in the last couple of years, the most popular bikes would be cargo bikes, uh, with folding bikes uh, coming out uh, almost equally strong. How many oh, that's not true. <laughs> Sorry, it's actually the other way around. I just uh, we can yeah, folding's up. Yeah, ask, ask me the question again. I'll lie. We're well known for uh, doing a lot of European imports, so we do folding bikes uh, from England, we do uh, cargo bikes from Denmark and Holland, and we do a whole range of city bikes from Holland, Belgium, and uh, Germany. Um, oh, and then your next question was? Uh, not gonna lie to you, it's the first time somebody's asked me that question before. <laughs> Yo, how many views do you get on your story when you pull up? What we really value here is the individual. So we want uh, all of the people that work here uh, and the people that shop here to be themselves. I want to feel needed. You want to feel needed? That's exactly, we all want to be loved. And how I receive that is by working at Crips on Second. There's a very small percentage of people who are riding bikes and uh, of course we want to be able to serve those people but we also want to serve the other 98% of people who don't ride or who, who never even considered riding a bike, and we want to make sure that they feel welcome in a bicycle store and that they get their bum on a seat and just experience the joy of riding a bike. Ellie, Ellie's the, that's why they keep Ellie on, I think. He's, he's a personal mechanic, and I've been doing this for eight or nine years, and I can't say I've met a mechanic who's personable in a way that's like, that's like the sales staff here. Eliezer Cruz Lopez is a beautiful, wonderful man. I think that Ellie here is probably the biggest celebrity we have in the shop. <laughs> Ellie loves people and he, he's good with them. Well, I call myself like the oldest mechanic, the old guy here. I will always love him. I'm sure that if you go on reviews, everyone is probably just raving about him. If the, the, the best uh, example of that is that when a customer leaves after he, he looks at their bike, instead of uh, expecting a thanks from them, he thanks them for coming. The customer are very happy. They come back and say, thank you, my bike is working great, I love it. So that's a great uh, feeling when, when the customer is happy after, after the repair. The one thing I've noticed here that really has amazed me is just how friendly the people who come into this shop are. You get to deal with just really good people all the time. We genuinely think about our customers and we, we have their best interests in mind. Definitely, we try to make sure every customer is happy. I feel like I get to learn something new every day. Definitely learned a lot. Yeah? Yeah. What? Just about fixing bikes. <laughs> Not about life or anything. Yeah, the mechanics are just, they're a great group of people, they work really hard, I uh, just respect that they do a lot. Um, it's okay, it's a job. How did you do that? <laughs> Complexities of life through working on bikes. <laughs> a lot of time bike shops have like a too cool image, people come oh, and like... Yeah feel intimidated by how cool the salespeople are, but I think Curbside does a good job at being very open to everyone. I like the fact that we're not an intimidating kind of store to come into. It doesn't feel like a bike shop, so to say, uh, but just a place where you can relax, come browse, enjoy yourself, and it doesn't harm that there's some really cool bikes that you won't find in other places. You won't really find Bromptons or cargo bikes around other shops, and. I think that that really differentiates us. We've been doing Brompton for about 12 years now, so we're the oldest Canadian retailer of Bromptons. And uh, over the years, we've certainly done a lot of custom orders. And in fact, every single Brompton you buy here is custom.
always been a bit of a niche um, place. Curbside was was uh, certainly responsible for some of those uh, um, the beginnings of, of, of bike projects like Simcoe or Cronin or Batavis or Pashley or Achille or Gazelle even. Um, curbside has really stood out um, in my mind uh, from other bike shops. I think it's just a lot friendlier. I think people are more in the UK. I ran a bike shop in Oxford, and everyone was. It's just a very bike concentrated city where it's just like a normal thing where it's more up and coming in Toronto. Well, most people who come in don't know what to look for, so we have to be especially supportive and especially welcoming. And I, I, I think that's what uh, uh, is like the secret thing. We're here. We, we help people, I think. Kept side focus on the city bike. Bikes became a really big passion of mine for sure. The ridership is growing and in, in the bigger cities um, there's definitely uh, an influx of, of, of ridership. It's just putting in all the infrastructure and everything, so it's nice to be on that sort of top wood, wood wave.